So I'm Sergio Villanueva. I come from the Library and Information Science Department here in the University of Barcelona. And this is my presentation, Bringing Statistics into Film Studies Together. So it, it maybe seemed quite difficult to combine maths and humanities. And I was shocked when I was first compelled to this, to this aim, but now you will, you will see how I, how I, how I work. So film studies belong to humanities, and humanities works through literary and critical inquiry. And, and at some point of my PhD research, I had to classify documentaries. But the only classification that exists in the film studies field is one written by Bill Nichols that comes from this, this, methodolog this methodological approach. This taxonomy is composed by six different kinds of documentaries, this kind of voices of the documentary, and I'm going to describe each one of them. It's not the main object of this presentation. But I wanted to, to systematize it, to know how any documentary can be classified in each one of these voices through the formal uh, features of the documentaries. So I needed an algorithm. So I asked two of my friends from PhD Comics, Nick and Sarah. Nick is from the humanities, Sarah is from social science. And Sarah told me, why don't you use real data? Nick didn't like this comment that much, but I, I tried, to, I tried to, to, to get this approach. And I performed five in semi-structure uh, uh, semi interviews to scholars, experts in Bill Nichols taxonomy. And I got that these six voices of the documentary can be described in order of 36, 34 uh, formal features, narrative, textual, and contextual. I, I came back to my friends and told them about my results, but they were discussing about humanities and social sciences, and Nick was right saying that maybe interviews are not that objective. They are quite subjective. So I thought, while well, they were discussing, I thought that maybe maths have the solution. So I go to maths, and I was thinking about how, how could I map the mental structures of people who, uses, who use this taxonomy and to systematize their opinions, to, how, how to, to put all these opinions together and get a single map. So multivariate statistics have the solution. It's cluster analysis. Cluster analysis is a methodology that is used in biology, in market science, in software, in software evolution, so I've come from humanities to biology. That is a quite strange trip. And the, the experiment that I designed was playing cards. I developed a set of 200 and more cards in which I have each formal feature related with one voice. So I have 34 features by six voices. And I had seven boxes each box for each voice, and a box that was the rubbish. And I put each one of the 20 subjects that I have to say if the relationship was true, to put in the box that it corresponded to the voice, and the, if the relationship wasn't true, to the rubbish. At the end, what I got was this dendrogram that you see here, a very big dendrogram with 216 cards, um, arranged in five different clusters. The first cluster that was very big is the rubbish. I didn't like it. And these four clusters that you see here are the four taxons of documentaries that are demonstrated through this, through this methodology and the relationship between each of the features. So I can, can, can build an algorithm with these 21 formal features to know any documentary, whether it belongs to a voice or another. So very happy, I came back to my friends to tell them, hey, I made it through maths, and they were discussing again about human humanities methodology and social science methodology and differences between two epistemological models. But what I realized in this trip is that interdisciplinarity is the way to arrive to new knowledge and to manage knowledge that we have about human creation and human behavior. Thank you very much. <laughs>